Today, we're uncovering the three stages of this incredible journey. We're going to cover everything from their role in ancient spiritual ceremonies to the genetic changes that gave them their modern look. Stay till the end because you won't believe what the final stage reveals about their true value in our lives. Welcome to the Guinea Pig Facts. Hello, I'm Daniel, and after doing many researches over the last years, one question always came back into my mind. Where this adorable pet comes from? I'm not just talking about their geographical origin, because I was wondering why they are so kind and not so scared of humans like their counterpart living in the nature. During my research, I have found many interesting facts that can draw a parallel with the famous evolution of wolf becoming dog as a human companion. Just like the wolf, the wild guinea pig, also known as KV, started a journey to live closer with the human. This wasn't just about taming, it was the beginning of a relationship that changed us both. Think about it. Both started living by themselves in the wild. Then they both slowly came closer to human and tolerate our presence. Over thousands of years, wolf and KV became a big part of human lives in their own different ways. The similarities are pretty cool, right? Now let's jump into the guinea pig facts time traveling machine to be able to trace their history. Ancient Origins and Spiritual Roles Our story began in the mountain of the Andes in South America about 7,000 years ago. While KVs were roaming through grassy slopes, blending into rocks with their simple brown and dark grey coats. Unlike our cuddly pets, wild KVs are naturally shy. They quickly hide in burrows or cracks if they sense danger. They live in small groups, always looking for grasses and plants to eat. Surviving in such a tough place shows how strong and clever they are. Local farmers notice these little grass nibblers and begin keeping the calmest one close to their homes. Around 7,000 years ago, Highland Indian farmers had fully domesticated wild KVs. What surprised me the most is their role in Indian spirituality. Archaeologists find pottery from thousand years ago painted with guinea pig figures. That's a proof that these animals were carrying a symbolic weight long before Europeans arrived. In Inca ceremonies, guinea pigs also serve as ritual offering. They were believed to carry prayers to the gods. Healers even used them to diagnose illness, passing a piggy over a patient to draw out negative energy. For ancient families, a guinea pig represents prosperity, fertility, and household luck. Not just a source of protein on the table. This spiritual connection means they saw the guinea pig's special energy and its place in both the natural and spirit worlds. It was a bond built on respect, not just usefulness. When European traders arrived in the 1500s, the guinea pig's journey took another exciting turn. Spanish, Dutch and English explorers were fascinated by these unique animals. They brought them back to Europe. Over there, the guinea pigs quickly changed from sacred animals of the Andes to interesting cuddly pets. The high society and even royal families loved them. By the end of the 16th century, English aristocrats kept guinea pigs as exotic pets, and portraits from that period show children cradling them much like kittens. This was another big change for this little fella. They went from being important in rituals to being loved companions. Their calm nature, cute sounds and easy care made them instant favorites. From wolves to dogs. Now let's take a look where the story of guinea pigs and dogs really comes together. We all know how much dogs are good companion and very useful in our life. They are also amazing helper in essential tasks like search and rescue. As the famous animal scientist Temple Grandin says, dogs are invaluable to humans primarily for their unique social connection and emotional support. They feel a basic human need of friendship and love. The most interesting thing with dogs is that at the beginning they were wolf. But how did they turn from wild animal as the man's best friend? 
Originally, humans value wolves who were not scared of us for hunting assistance and as an alarm system against big and wild predators. Over thousands of years, those wolves transformed their behavior and appearance to become more accepted by the humans. They shrink in size, their jaws became less aggressive, their ears sometimes flopped, and their coats started to be more colorful. And I truly believe the same is true for our guinea pigs. Just like the wolves who lost their uniform grey and gained patchy coats, the wild cavies lost their camouflage-style agouti coat and gained wonderful and colorful hairstyle. Both species became more social and showed less aggressive response to humans. Guinea pigs might not be able to hurt sheep or guide people who can see, but they can help us in many different ways. And what goes far beyond their cute squeaks and happy jump? They give us a special kind of emotional support and friendship that many people don't realize. Just holding a warm purring guinea pig can make you feel less stressed and calmer. Their gentle nature and friendly ways make them perfect friends, especially for those who want quiet, steady love. They listen without judging, they comfort us just by being there, and they give us a routine that makes us feel very steady. This special bond between humans and animals, which science shows can lower stress and make us feel better, is just as strong with a guinea pig as it is with any other pet. I think they can teach us to care for others, to be responsible, and to love without limits. Guinea pigs are just as important for the friendship and emotional support they give. They make our lives richer in ways we might not even fully understand. As Temple Grandin observes, people would not have become who we are today if we have not co-evolved with dogs. She argues that dogs are invaluable, thanks not only to work skills, but to the social connection and emotional support they give humans. Personally, I think the same could be applied for other pets and animals that we care for, and especially for guinea pigs. They always bring me joy in their own special way, and they make me feel calmer. Let me know how your guinea pigs make you feel in the comment section below. Extra section Q&A. Ready for more fascinating guinea pig facts? Let's zoom into our top questions. Number one. What wild KV species still exist today and how do their behaviors compare to our domestic guinea pigs? Yes, I like this one. Several wild species still thrive in South America. The most direct ancestor being the Cavia chudi and the Cavia apira. Unlike our pets, these wild KVs are built for survival. They are leaner, faster, and hyper alert to predators. They live in small, skittish groups that forage for food, primarily at dawn and dusk, ready to run away at the slightest sign of danger. The biggest difference is their reaction to threats. While the domestic piggy might freeze or weak for you, a wild KV's only instinct is to flee. Our pets have traded raw survival skills for social curiosity and a deep trust in humans. Number two, how long is the average lifespan of a domestic guinea pig versus its wild ancestor? This one is very interesting. The lifespan difference is dramatic and highlights the impact of domestication. A domestic guinea pig lives an average of 5 to 8 years, thanks to a stable environment, consistent food and veterinary care. In sharp contrast, its wild ancestor, the Cavia chudi, has a lifespan of only 1 to 3 years. This brutal difference is almost entirely due to the daily threats of predators, disease and the constant struggle to find food in the wild. Number 3. What modern conservation efforts exist to protect wild KV species? Conservation efforts for wild KVs are active and focused on protecting their natural habitat. Key initiatives in South America include habitat preservation, protecting Andean grasslands from overgrazing and urban development. Captive breeding programs, zoos and conservation centers run programs for rarer species to boost genetic diversity for eventual reintroduction. The International Union for Conservation of Nature actively monitors wild KV population as some subspecies are already classified as near-threatened. These efforts are crucial to ensure the wild ancestors of our pets don't disappear. 
Number four, are there documented cases of guinea pigs being used in professional therapy? Absolutely. Guinea pigs are increasingly used in professional animal assisted therapy due to their gentle and non judgmental nature. They are particularly effective in two settings nursing homes and elder care. Petting a guinea pig has been documented to lower blood pressure, reduce anxiety, and combat feeling of loneliness in residents. Children's Reading Program Anxious children practice reading aloud to a guinea pig, which helps build confidence without fear of being judged. From the wild caves of the Andes mountains to the sacred animals of all the people, and finally to the loved friends in our homes today, the guinea pig's journey is truly amazing. Their story mirrors the epic domestication of wolves into dogs, reminding us how strong the bond between humans and animals can be. Their story is about growing together, helping each other, and having a deep connection that lasts throughout time and different cultures. They remind us that friendship comes in many forms. Even the most humble creature can have a rich history and give us priceless emotional support. Next time you hear your piggies weak for veggies or see your dog's tail wagging, remember you are sharing a moment built on thousands of years of coevolution. They are truly more than just pets. They are a living story of love. If this video helped you, give it a like and share it with another guinea pig owner. Just like your piggies, stay curious, stay kind, and always double check with the guinea pig facts. Thanks for watching.